Welcome Worldwide Animals Channel. European Robin. The European Robin, Erythicus rubecula, known simply as the Robin or Robin Redbreast in Great Britain, is a small insectivorous passerine bird that belongs to the chat subfamily of the Old World flycatcher family. About 12.5 to 14.0 centimeters, 5.0 to 5.5 inches, in length, the male and female are similar in coloration, with an orange breast and face lined with gray, brown upper parts and a whitish belly. It is found across Europe, east to western Siberia and south to North Africa. It is sedentary in most of its range except the far north. The robin occurs in Eurasia east to western Siberia, south to Algeria and on the Atlantic islands as far west as the central group of the Azores and Madeira. It is a vagrant in Iceland. In the southeast, it reaches Iran the Caucasus range. Irish and British robins are largely resident but a small minority, usually female, migrate to southern Europe during winter, a few as far as Spain. Scandinavian and Russian robins migrate to Britain and Western Europe to escape the harsher winters. These migrants can be recognized by the grayer tone of the upper parts of their bodies and duller orange breast. The European robin prefers spruce woods in Northern Europe, contrasting with its preference for parks and gardens in Great Britain. The robin is diurnal, although it has been reported to be active hunting insects on moonlit nights or near artificial light at night. Well known to British and Irish gardeners, it is relatively unafraid of people and drawn to human activities involving the digging of soil, in order to look out for earthworms and other food freshly turned up. Indeed, the robin is considered to be a gardener's friend and for various folklore reasons the robin would never be harmed. In continental Europe on the other hand, robins were hunted and killed as with most other small birds, and are more wary. Robins also approach large wild animals, such as wild boar and other animals which disturb the ground, to look for any food that might be brought to the surface. In autumn and winter, robins will supplement their usual diet of terrestrial invertebrates, such as spiders, worms and insects, with berries and fruit. They will also eat seed mixtures and suet placed on bird tables. Robins may choose a wide variety of sites for building a nest. In fact, anything which can offer some shelter, like a depression or hole may be considered. As well as the usual crevices, or sheltered banks, other objects include pieces of machinery, barbecues, bicycle handlebars, bristles on upturned brooms, discarded kettles, watering cans, flowerpots and hats. Robins will also nest in man-made nest boxes, favoring a design with an open front placed in a sheltered position up to two meters from the ground. The nest is composed of moss, leaves and grass, with fine grass, hair and feathers for lining. Two or three clutches of five or six eggs are laid throughout the breeding season, which commences in March in Britain and Ireland. The eggs are a cream, buff or white speckled or blotched with reddish-brown color, often more heavily so at the larger end. When juvenile birds fly from the nests they are mottled brown in color all over. After two to three months out of the nest, the juvenile bird grows some orange feathers under its chin and over a similar period this patch gradually extends to complete the adult appearance. The robin produces a fluting, warbling about this during the breeding season. Both the male and female sing during the winter, when they hold separate territories, the song then sounding more plaintive than the summer version. The female robin moves a short distance from the summer nesting territory to a nearby area that is more suitable for winter feeding. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to new videos every day. Like, share and comment.